We're clear. Clear for the lift off. So we got the butts. Mm -hmm. Buttsy. Buttsy, the Buttsy. The Buttsy. Yeah, that's kind of what well, it's turned into. What's going on with that? So um, my best friend, Al, he's been calling me that for years. And uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's, it's not complicated. It really has to do mainly with the size of my actual butt cheeks. <laughs> Like honestly, so you know, the size of your butt cheeks, like huh? Calling somebody busty, right? Okay, like, yeah. oh yeah, you know that girl's busty, like uh -huh. buttsy, right? Because he's got big old cheeks. Yeah. Right? Well, that's kind of what it stems from, really. It's not, it's not too complex. A lot of people ask about it, but yeah, man, that's yeah, pretty so, much it. You know. So, um, that's what that's what your friends, that's what people on obviously social media are calling you. And now random people, like in the store, uh -huh. you know, uh, people that see me out in public, probably one of the weirdest things that I've ever experienced uh, to date. It's actually uh, called Buttsy from across the grocery store a couple months back buying bacon, wearing sweatpants at uh, 10 o'clock at night. It, it didn't quite resonate with me. I was like, what the? Oh my God, that guy's yeah, that was, actually talking yeah, to me. That was talking to me. And now it's like every day I run into somebody. It's really weird. It's the most strange thing that's ever happened to me, to be honest with you, so. You got a, a club head cover of your face? Oh my God. Well, it kind of looks like Sean White a little bit. <laughs> It's supposed to be a me. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> All right. Woo. What club is that for you? Got a pitching wedge for one. OK. All right. What do you think? I was talking about not playing from the back tee. Yeah, you got a pitching head. wedge. Oh, my god. 160-yard pitching wedge. Right there. Right there. Oh, be a Christian. Dude. That works. Golf shot. Tell me how you got started. Social media, the whole thing. Uh, honestly, I, I got a. I gotta thank Kyle over at Car Barn, guys. Um, I started hanging out there at Papago Golf Course probably three or four years ago. I lived down there and would just go hang out there on the weekends and had these guys rolling, laughing. And uh, he had started a page about four years ago and was just like, dude, I walked up one day and he had a microphone. He's like, do me a favor, put this microphone on and walk over there and just talk, just hit chips and talk. And I'm like, I'm not doing it, man. So then it turned into every day for like two weeks, he's dangling the microphone, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it, man. So finally we did it, and uh, Lessons with Buttsy was born, and he put it on his page, and it's up on YouTube, and you know, the rest is history. That's where we're at today. This whole social media thing with golf, I mean, it's it's fresh for them, you know? It's like sniped marketing, it's it's cheap for them, they give you all kinds of product, and it's a good way to reach out to a lot of people without spending half a million dollars, right? So, right. I mean, I've been lucky enough to work with companies like Nike, you know, don't exactly have the physique of Rory McIlroy, as you can see, but uh, Shrick's on golf, Peretti putters, I mean, TaylorMade, it, it got a whole free set of stuff, you mm -hmm. know, just for being on Instagram and talking about this stuff. and. I felt guilty at first, but if you think about it, it makes sense, you know? You got a guy like Rory McIlroy, we could pay $500,000 putting a blade collar and right. water deplete him for two months until he's ripped like Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's a bee right there. Get out of my way, I'm allergic. Somebody got an EpiPen. If you don't have a personality, then you're just another dude. Right. On social media. And frankly, if I offend you, I mean, you don't gotta watch it. So I'm sure uh, trolls don't pay $10,000 for a booth at the PGA show and have Buttsy up on uh, a billboard in the middle of the PGA show. What do you got about an electric sunglass? Electric, uh, they reached out to me. We hung out, we kind of had a little uh, honeymoon period, got to know their owners, and we all think alike. We're just dudes that you know live life, want to have a good time. They had some faith in me. Uh, met them at the PGA merchandise show in Vegas, and uh, the owner, Eric Crane, asked me my opinion on what they need to do to get into golf. And I said, you need to create something iconic. So six months later, I'm in California doing a photo shoot. And uh, the photo you're talking about mm -hmm. at the uh, PGA show was actually an almost exact replication of Jack Nicklaus from, uh, I think it was like 1967 or something like that. After he won the Masters, wearing the green jacket. But we basically replicated that. Um, I showed up in, in uh, Orlando and there's a life-size uh, portrait of me with other photos in their booth. They got faith in me, they think I'm a cool dude, they're cool dudes, hopefully we continue to work together. Well, Budsy, appreciate uh, you let us come out here to Talking Stick. Oh, absolutely, man. Shoot it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Putt, mm -hmm. miss a few putts, but... Uh, yeah, you know, make a couple doubles. Yeah. We had fun, though. We had, we we had, had a great fun. time. Absolutely. Appreciate so, it. Good to meet you, brother. Good to meet Thanks you, good luck with everything. All right. Let's go play a few more holes. Let's do it. <laughs>